Neo vs Seal, what's the difference? Before comparing the two, here is a quick history lesson. In 1984, Airbus, the newest player in aviation, launched the A320 family of airplanes. The A320 quickly helped Airbus establish themselves with its popularity. The aircraft went on to sell more than 5,000 units. It competed well with Boeing's response, the heavily upgraded 737 Next Generation. But in 2006, a new player entered the market, and here it was, the Bombardier C-Series. New technologies, it burned 15% less fuel per trip. Ironically, initially supposed to compete with Airbus, the program would later be acquired by Airbus to become the A220 series. Not wanting to lose out, Airbus updated their single hour workhorse. There were new larger engines with higher bypass ratios and separately, new sharklets were installed on the wingtips. Airbus re-engined three most popular variants. The A319 The A320 And the largest A321 the A321neo was further developed into the LR and now XLR variant to compete with Boeing in the lower end of the middle of the market segment. It was also capable enough to replace the 757, an aircraft typically used in this market segment. With its impressive performance, many airlines chose the A320neo family to replace their older A320s. The smallest A380 was not re-engined into a NEO variant as sales of this model was extremely poor. So bringing us back to the question, what's the difference? Well, cue the music, let's find out. The NEO variants can either carry more passengers or with the same payload, fly 500 nautical miles further. A320neo carries the same 189 passengers with an exit limit of 194, but flies 200 nautical miles further with a range of 3,500 nautical miles. The A319neo carries 60 more passengers at 140 passengers while being able to fly to the same distance as CO of 3,750 nautical miles. Meanwhile, the largest A321neo carries up to 24 passengers more with the capability to fly 1,000 nautical miles further. It carries 244 passengers to a range of 4,000 nautical miles. Overall, these improvements in performances are certainly game-changing. The engines on the NEO variant are obviously the reason for the increase in performance. Airlines can choose to elect either new Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan PW 1100G engines or the CFM Leap 1A engines. The older A320 CEO also has two engine choices, either the CFM 56 or the IAE V2500 engines. The new engines themselves burn 12% less fuel while producing up to 50% less noise. This is thanks to the new higher bypass ratios of these engines with a larger fan diameter of up to 81 inches.
Airbus has also updated the cabin on A320neo. It is available with the airspace cabin introduced on A350. The A320CO had one of the best cabins at the time with it being the widest, till the arrival of MC21. Even early airplanes featured IV systems and optional mood lighting. Mood lighting is standard now though on the new NEO aircrafts. There's also new welcome lighting at the front galley. Business passengers now enjoy live flat seats while everyone enjoys the largest overhead bins on any single hour aircraft. Here are some more new features. Airspace cabin is also available for retrofit on the CO airplanes. However, the newer A321 NEO does have a new door layout. Door 2 has been replaced with more overwing exits, while door 3 has been moved back and deactivated. Moving quickly on, what are some advantages and disadvantages of the NEO program? The NEO is a low-risk but high-return program in general. Re-engineering allows the aircraft to be offered quicker and cheaper to airline. Pilots do not have to be trained on a new type certificate and maintenance costs are reduced compared to new aircrafts. Many technologies developed for the NEO can also be effectively retrofitted to seal, like the new Sharklets for example, which themselves reduce fuel burn by up to 3%. However, the NEO does lack the latest and greatest in aviation technologies. An example is the fuse large, which is traditional aluminium rather than new composites which are even lighter allowing for lower fuel burn. The A320 is a very popular airplane in general. The original received 8,059 orders, while the NEO received 6,142 orders so far. Interestingly, the A321 NEO variant is now the most popular, while the A319 NEO is least popular with only 56 orders. I guess the main reason for this is that newer purpose-built smaller airplanes are more efficient in the small single-hour market. An example is the A220, which has overtaken Airbus's own A319 NEO in sales. Overall, the A320 NEO is a worthy successor and, and the NEO program will certainly power the A320 family well into the future. However, what type of aircraft Will Airbus choose to replace the A320? Well, only the future will tell. Do you think the NEO is enough of an upgrade? Let me know in the comments below. As ever, thanks for watching and wishing everyone a truly clear sky ahead.